and uh, Turtle Beach's X01 is one of the best entry level deals out there. So here are the headphones themselves. Uh, they are hardwired here. Uh, the mic, however, is detachable. So if you want to roll with these headphones uh, while you're out of the house with your smartphone or tablet or what have you, that's no problem. You just pop the uh, mic in when you're ready to use it. And it is a fully articulating snake style microphone, as you can see. Then uh, you've got a little adapter that you'll need to connect to your Xbox One controller. We'll cover that in a moment. And they even provide a little USB cable so that you can update your Xbox One controller. If you haven't used an aftermarket headset before, you'll need to do that. To get this connected, you just want to line up the connector with the port, and pop it in. You'll notice on the back that there's a little slit that you want to lock into when you get this put in and it stays in place for you. Now, uh, what we have here is game and chat volume balance, so you can either uh, lean towards a little bit more game audio and less chat audio, or vice versa. The master volume control is over on the left side, up and down there. Uh, we also have a mute switch, uh, just a quick press that mutes the mic uh, or pulls it back on, and if you press and hold it, you can go through varying degrees of mic monitoring, so you can actually hear your own voice in the headphones that keeps you from yelling too loud. And then this top button here is for a uh, selectable bass boost off, low, and high. To plug in the mic, you just go into this little jack on the left hand ear cup and you're up and running. Now this is an exceptionally light headphone. Uh, you're barely gonna notice that they're on your head, but Turtle Beach provides some pretty cushy padding at the top of the headband anyway. For the ear cups, Turtle Beach continues to use this cloth material, which is great for avoiding ear sweats. Uh, these things are really built for long haul marathon gaming sessions and uh, I think they're gonna be excellent for that. The trade off to that lightweight though is kind of a flimsy feel. I think they're built well enough to last, but uh, they definitely don't feel like a premium headphone. As for sound quality, Turtle Beach never disappoints me, but I think these sound especially good for an under $100 headphone. I've certainly heard worse above that mark. Uh, so everything combined, these are looking like a slam dunk accessory uh, for the Xbox One right now and definitely a great gift idea for this holiday. Hulk is fairly new to the gaming headset market, but that hasn't stopped them from coming out with a bunch of new models. And here is their latest. This is the Stryker Pro ZX, and the company bills it as an audiophile grade gaming headset. Now here is what makes the headphones universal. Obviously, we're not talking about a wireless headset here. Each of these cables goes for a different uh, gaming device. The headphones themselves are about what you'd expect. You get uh, quite a bit of swivel and tilt, uh, for a good comfortable fit. There's plenty of padding on both the ear pads and the underside of the headband. And then of course you get this little microphone, very rubbery style microphone that you just plug into the bottom of the right ear cup. I like that the mic is flexible and pretty much indestructible and I really like this mute switch down here. Now you'll notice there's no controls on the exterior and that's because there really isn't anything to control. These are just a very simple, straightforward headphone. As for sound quality, I'm usually skeptical of audiophile grade claims, but I would definitely put these in the upper 80% in terms of sound quality. Bass is really, really good. Uh, the treble is a little bit zingy for me, but you know, it's nothing crazy and the mid-range is nice and big and open. I'm gonna say that they do indeed sound very good, certainly better than most of the other $150 gaming headsets that you're gonna find out there. The HS50's industrial design hits all the marks, from looks to versatility. You can take this headset anywhere. With the HS50, our engineers spent a tremendous amount of time developing cozy, plush, memory foam ear cups that gently mold to fit your ear. We also designed the ear cups to swivel so they'll sit perfectly, no matter the shape of your head, size of your ears, or if you wear glasses.
Unlike most headsets in this price range, the HS50 structural components are built with a high quality rugged metal. And we've really taken extra care in all the materials used to ensure long-term durability and performance, which is what we've built our legacy on. On the side of the ear cup, you'll find on-ear volume and mute controls for quick adjustments on the fly. The HS50 Stereo Gaming headset uses an optimized unidirectional microphone. And finally, the microphone easily detaches for use on the go. The HS50 is compatible with PlayStation, Xbox, PC, or any mobile device. You can play on any system, anywhere. Okay, so I've got it on map now, uh, put together. So there's the microphone boom. Um, it's a rubberized, bendable microphone boom. Um, it's detachable as well. Um, this is, as I said earlier on, the white version of the headset. And if you can see on the camera, um, it's got after afterglow imprinted in the top there. See if I can get it in a. There you go. You should be able to see now. The afterglow there. Uh, it's fully adjustable. Um, so again, let's show you that. There we go, it's fully adjustable. Um, and it was as simple as plugging the uh, USB dongle into the Xbox One. Um, this is on an Xbox One S, so it's working on there as well for those that will ask that question. And it's just plugged in. Um, once you plug that in, you press and hold the power button for three seconds. It comes on and that is it connected straight away. As you can see, we've got lighting as well, that is green there. Um, so you mute your microphone by pressing the same power button just the once. Uh, you get an audible um, note in the ear earpieces that it's um, muted and unmuted. Now you can change the colour as well. So there's a button just here near the microphone. You press and hold that, and it will cycle through the colours available. Um, let's try and do that for you there. Right onto some of the specs about it then. So it's plug and play setup. So it's up to 40 feet of wireless connectivity. Um, it's a powerful 50 millimeter drivers with two distinct audio modes. Um, so I'm going to assume that is when you press, you can press that button we did for the colours, when you just press it, it does make a different tone inside the uh, the speakers again there. So that's the two audio modes for that. Uh, it's got a rechargeable battery, it lasts up to 16 hours, um, so plenty of play time with that there. Ultra comfort for long gaming sessions, removable and flexible noise cancelling microphone, and the signature LED lighting in prismatic or blackout mode. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, headset. 